Hi everyone, welcome back to Novel's Nook. If you're new here, my name is Victoria and for today I have another reading vlog for you guys. So essentially school is over and I am on my Thanksgiving break and then I will go right into exams. So I figured that I would just take this week to really get back into reading and I thought I'd share with you guys my progress, the books I've been reading, things that I do, and just kind of vlog it and then share with you guys if I finish any books. So if you guys like book videos, book tags, and anything book related, make sure you guys like and subscribe and keep on watching. So if you guys have been a part of the channel and have seen some of my videos, you would know that me and Christopher are reading the Witcher series and we actually started the second book, The Time of Contempt, and it's pretty okay so far. I mean, nothing really exciting has happened. We're on page 25. We just kind of started it the other day, but it really just picks up with nothing special. So I'm hoping we can get into it and it starts getting really interesting and really fascinating. But for right now, it's just kind of boring. But, you know, it has to ease into it and hopefully it'll get more action-packed as we continue to read. So this will be a book that I will be reading throughout this week. I do have to wait and read it with Christopher, obviously, because this is something we're reading together. But besides that, I did want to pick up a book and read something for myself. So I'm going to go over to the bookshelf and see what we got. So before I get into reading, I did want to share with you guys this book that I got. Um, it is When We Were Magic. I, like I usually do with books that I get, I don't really know anything about them because I want to be surprised and I usually just tell them if it's for a giveaway and it's like a, you know, you get to pick sort of thing, I usually just tell them, surprise me with a book, send me something that, you know, is really good and really interesting and then I'll see for myself if I like it. So this was kind of one of those moments where I was like, you know, I really don't mind what book I get. So just, you know, pick one for me and I'll read it eventually. But, and that's really the only books that I've gotten recently. I've just haven't been reading because of school, really focused on doing school. The online kind of, you know, world is really hard to focus with, you know, college and everything. So reading hasn't been a number one priority, but now that I'm not in school and now that I have this, you know, week break and I'm bored like literally today I was like what am I gonna do all day I literally have nothing to do so I'm gonna get back into reading and I just wanted to share with you guys this uh book that I got which I think is really pretty and if you've read this book this beautiful like literally seriously it has such a beautiful cover but if you've read it let me know in the comments how you think of it let's finally start reading and I'll show you guys what I will be picking up. So I don't remember where I left off in the last vlog. If I had talked about reading another book, I can't. It's been so long. I think I filmed that last one back in September maybe, but it's, you know, been a few weeks. So I decided to read See You at Harry's. It has been on my TBR shelf for a very long time, but it's also been on my Goodreads for forever and I remember when I bought it I was looking through some of the really old likes on Goodreads some the stuff that you know I saw that I wanted to be reading a long time ago yeah this is one of those books I think it's from like 2012 so it's definitely one of those that it still looks interesting and it's still like the cover is like really cute but it's still one of those books that I really want to get reading and you know have read but I just haven't gotten to it so I really think I'm gonna get to this one and you know it looks semi short so hopefully I can read it like it feel myself progressing through it quite quickly and then I can come back to the shelf which is that one and pick another book but I'm gonna get reading I'll update you guys my progress update you guys with my progress <laughs> and um see if I like it and hopefully I do because I really don't want to uh, have to start all over or get into a reading slump. So let's get reading. So right off the bat, we are introduced to the main character and kind of the family. We get a vibe of the family. So essentially what this book is about, this girl grows up with like a huge family, I believe, like a lot of siblings, you know, a crazy household, things like that. I think something happens that kind of like changes that entire dynamic and right off the bat we were hit with like a really cute story of you know the characters 
character. We get to see what this character is like. We get to see, um, you know, what kind of traits they have, which I think will be really nice to see build and develop throughout the story. So that's fun. But I just wanted to pop on there and just say I'm already loving this. I just think it's cute and hopefully I'll like it <laughs> throughout the rest of the book, but we'll see. I recorded this like 16 times. This is the best setup that I could find. So I do apologize, but I did want to come in and kind of update you guys on what's been happening so i'm making this super brief and not boring because i tend to ramble and talk forever and i don't want to do that so essentially what happened is i didn't read of course story of my life i haven't really been in the reading mood i've been really consumed with video games i'm focusing on christmas i have a trip coming up soon i'm really just busy all over the place and haven't been reading, haven't really been doing anything like that, but I have a few little updates that I wanted to share with you. First being the love of my freaking life. <laughs> Look at this beautiful freaking book. It is so freaking cute. I love it. I saw this in the store and I was like, okay, have to buy it because I need this on my shelf forever. Um, the cover is so beautiful. It has little Midori and Bakugo staring into each other's eyes. Yes, give it to me, <laughs> they're so cute. Um, but the art is so beautiful in it, and of course I already know the storyline. Oh, look at that, that's such a good picture. I already know the entire story. <laughs> the anime is incredible. Apparently they're making a third movie. I'm so excited, but yeah, really beautiful. Really beautiful stuff. It's gorgeous. Pow. Boom. Oh my god, they're so precious. But yeah, but this is the second one. This is the second volume. So like, it starts off in the middle of everything. So which is fine, because like I said, I already know the story, but I really wanted this because it is really beautiful. And I'm I'm excited to flip through it, read it, look at some of the art, see what's, you know, not in the show, but it's pretty good. We're still watching this show right now. I think we're on part four and I haven't, we haven't finished it yet, but, and then we're going to watch the movies and be incredibly obsessed with it. That's, that's my aim. I'm obsessed with everything I watch. So besides that, I do have an actual book update. I did read See You at Harry's. I picked it up and I did read it. Are you surprised? I am because I didn't think I would, <laughs> but I did. It's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm really liking it so far. I'm on page 106, chapter 13. It is going by really quickly. Once I get reading and really push myself to read, I can get through it very quickly. It took me no long at all to get through the first hundred chap or hundred pages. Jesus, hundred chapters, shoot me, but no. The first hundred pages were really easy to get through. And I think that's what I really like about this book so far is how easy it is to read. I mean the the letters are pretty big. It is a really um like easy read. So you know that's kind of why I like it. There is a few issues and problems that we see come up. Uh, the main character's brother is struggling with the idea that he's gay and I think he's trying to push away that and kind of not share it with the people he loves because he's getting bullied every day for it, which is obviously in incredibly heartbreaking, especially when we see Fern, the main character, the sister, uh, she walks through his shoes and experiences what he goes through every day and when she realizes how horrible he has it every day she's kind of like wow my brother endures this every day of his life and so it kind of comes up with like this idea of why is this a problem you know why is him liking boys why is him dressing differently a problem why are people you know so focused on making this a problem when it's not you know like she kind of understands that and I think it's hard because no one else does. And so I think she wants to be there for her brother, but her brother just really doesn't know what to do, especially because he's not, 
he just doesn't really understand, I think, because these are really young kids. They're like middle school, early high school age. So they're just learning and, you know, figuring out who they are, which, you know, comes at that age. I, it's actually funny reading this because I took development through the lifespan and one of our topics was gender and sexuality and we get to see the trend of when individuals start figuring out their gender identities their you know sexual orientation the ages and it's really interesting because this is their prime time right now where they're really trying to figure out who they are and what their identity is and kind of shaping their self so it's really interesting to see where this goes and I really hope something positive comes out of it. Like I hope his sister Fern really just pushes on that self-assurance that like it's okay to be who you are and it's not a problem. So many people are like telling him like, like you're a problem, like this is a problem, like this is an issue when it's like why is it, why is it a big deal? It's not like he should be who he wants to be without getting constantly bullied and picked on for it. So, you know, I'm hoping that becomes a thing. And now it's like, the whole family knows, but like, no one tells them they know and no one knows. Like, it's just such a weird dynamic they have. And it's so heartbreaking to see that like, no one's comforting him. And it's, I really hope something great comes out of it and it just doesn't fall short. Because then I think that would be like, a really big downfall for this book so I really hope we see a very positive development with that storyline and so far that's the most captivating storyline I mean there are a few different things that are really interesting like the whole restaurant commercial thing and uh the main character Fern definitely having a crush on her best friend I think that's interesting but I don't know I really want to see something amazing come out with the brother's development if he has a huge character arc, oh, like I'm gonna be incredibly happy, but like we're only a hundred pages in, something bad's gonna happen. Like I can feel it. Like it's been so, so far so good, too long for too long. You know when, you know when it's like that. Like <laughs> they've been happy for too long. So, but I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of what's gonna happen, and. I just, I really hope something wonderful happens. The siblings bond together. It is really interesting, those little moments where it's like, you see them care. You know, the siblings don't want to show each other that they care about each other, but then there's that little moment where they're like, yeah, I, you know, they're my, they're my sibling. So I think those moments are really amazing, especially when the older sister kind of like takes them under her wing and is like, okay, I'll get you to, to school because I know like being on the bus and being bullied is like rough. She doesn't want to do it. She wants to put up that tough act, but like she does it anyway. So it's just like those little moments where like they're showing their care is I think are really good moments, but I really like it. If you guys have read it, let me know and hopefully I'll finish it. I do have Blue Rabbit again. I got that from school, so maybe I'll finish that. Maybe I'll dive into something else, but I am going on a trip soon, so we'll see what happens with that <laughs> in reading. I'll make this update, say I'm going to read, and then I'll see you guys in five months and I haven't picked up the book. That's usually how these vlogs go, but Maybe I'll get reading right now and I'll try to edit some videos and do stuff like that and give them to you guys. Let me know what you're reading down below or pump me up in the comments to get reading because I really do need to read something. I am aware that it is the new year. So it's been a few months. This video has been going on for forever. I actually did make it in November because I was going to do it through my Thanksgiving break and so essentially what happened was I didn't read and then we got really busy me and Christopher ended up going on a trip and so a lot of things have happening excuse my hair it's like six different colors at the moment my roots look so bad but anyways I wanted to like wrap this video up so I can start making different videos, different vlogs, different things, reading, everything in general, but I just wanted to keep doing this vlog and not scrap it even though it's been way, way in the past and way overdue of filming and uploading, but I did want to give you guys an update. 
I still am trying to read this book. I know I haven't been reading much, which is, you know, hard to make videos and hard to talk about reading in general when you have a book tube and you're not reading. So it's like, it, it's so hard for me to be active and be involved in the community on Twitter and, you know, watching videos when I'm such in a reading slump. I've been so consumed with Netflix and gaming that reading has just not been a priority. But I'm going to be going back to college very soon, in a few weeks, a few days. I want to kind of make reading a priority since we're going to be stuck on campus for a lot of months. So I kind of want to make this something that I do in generally just keep at it and be active in the community and making videos and just, you know, generally doing what I can. Oh, if you like my sweater, I'll leave a link down below of the Madison Mallory site. I love them. I love their sweaters and they're so freaking cute. Um, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> totally unrelated. But so I wanted to finish off this video with talking about this book. I think in the last clip, was me talking about kind of seeing a very you know happy ending a very like solid progress solid push through the development of certain characters and i was saying i think how everything so far has been really good nothing bad has happened i spoke right at the right moment i'd say because as i continue to read something epic not epic, but like, I think the climax is here and we're seeing a very scary moment for this family. Something very tragic has happened, something that is going to completely shift the atmosphere of the dynamics and how this family lives their lives. As something really bad and heartbreaking happens, I don't really know, you know, most of what's going on because I've kind of stopped at chapter 18 um page 154 it's kind of my break where I stopped and I think this is really like interesting to see because so spoilers if you haven't read it if you have okay if you don't care okay but the spoiler and the big issue is that the little boy the son the youngest Charlie. Um, I think he is, how old is he? I can't even remember now, but he's like really young. He's the youngest. Uh, he didn't wake up for school. He didn't wake up. His parents can't wake him up. And so the previous day he had almost been hit by a car and fell. Um, like he said he wasn't hurt, said everything was fine, blah, blah, blah. The night went by, he was fine. But the next morning he didn't wake up. So the family is now like, okay, let's rush him to the hospital. Let's get him, you know, okay, better, whatever. Is he going to wake up? Is this an issue? Like, so whew, I'm scared. I don't know if he's dead. I don't know if he's um, in a coma. Like, I don't really know. I haven't, again, I stopped right when I found that out. I was freaking blown away. Um, so I don't really know what's gonna, gonna happen, but I definitely think this is either going to break the family or it's going to bring them together, which I think will be very interesting to see. But yeah, I'm like halfway through and I just, I want to get it done so bad. I want to finish a book. 2020 was one of the worst reading years for me. I think I read four books throughout the entire year. Yeah, it was so bad, but I just want to make that maybe my goal, my new year, new me, new year's resolution to read more, read more books, involve myself in making new videos, all that sorts of fun stuff. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this little vlog that I'm going to be put putting up. It's just me breaking down See You at Harry's a little bit more and just putting that out there so then I have something to give and then, you know, as the days go on, I'll continue to read this book and update you guys, do more in-depth vlogs, do more, um, you know, book-related videos. One of my videos is doing really well and I want to get more, like, back into that style of video, so I'm going to be trying to do that. But yeah, 
I mean, it's so hard because I've stopped buying books and usually book hauls and, you know, things where you talk a lot about books, obviously, get a lot of hype and get a lot of views. And the problem is, is that I'm not buying anymore because I have so much books to read. And so I'm still trying to catch up, but I'm also trying to stay current and trying to stay relevant. And so it's, it's so, so much that, you know, when you take a break and you kind of, you know, focus on other things that when you jump back into it, it's, it's a mess. So but that's what I'm gonna, you know, try to do. I'm gonna try to make more videos and really try to read more. I definitely want to read more than I did last year. I mean, it was like, what, four books? I think maybe three or four. Like that's, that's really bad. I mean, I should be reading that in like a month a year so we'll see how that goes and i'll keep you guys updated i think that's it i hope everyone has a wonderful new year it is 2021 i can't believe it stay safe uh students going back to school stay uh, incredibly safe i wish my campus was staying online we're not we have to go back to in person which isn't you know doesn't make me feel very safe but whatever um i hope everyone is still you know sticking to the COVID guidelines, still protecting yourself, hang in there. If you're getting the vaccines, you know, be safe still, you know, we still have to take those precautions and use the hand sanitizers. I've got a bunch of these, you know, everyone always would, you know, criticize people in high school for having like loads and loads of these hand sanitizers saved up, the Bath and Body Works collections. And now it's like, yes, I can pull out those and it'd be really helpful. Um, but I think that's, I think that's it. So I will continue to read and continue to update, but for now, this is as much as we're going to get with this vlog. So I wanted to end that here and enjoy. Also, if you guys have any like recommendations for either books, you know, TV shows, anything, I'd love to know. And what are you guys currently reading? Drop it down below. Alright guys, bye!